design a reinforced concrete slab, first you need to acquire the bending moment and the shear load adding on it. This load can be obtained by referring to BS8110 as Eurocode do not provide any guidance on that. This video will guide you through how do you determine the moment and the shear loads based on BS8110. We will cover one-way slab and two-way slab and there will be a series of tables from BS8110 for you to refer. Table 3.12 is meant for the one-way spanning slab. It is mainly used for a continuous lab. The end span, which means the last span, can be in the mode of simply supported or continuous. This diagram shows a simply supported end span and this one shows the continuous end span. There is a series of factors here to be multiplied with F and L in order for you to determine the moment and shear load. The F represents the total design ultimate load which is equals to 1.35 plus 1.5 for GK and QK respectively and the L is referring to the effective span of the slab. To use the table, there are a series of terminology you need to first be aware of. This terminology has been outlined here. In general, this is the end span. That means that is the last span of the slab without joining to another slab. And the first support refers to the outer support. The mid span of the end span is referring to the near to middle end of the end span. Then the following support it will be considered as the first interior support. The mid span of the following span it will be considered as the middle intermediate span. And the interior supports are given here. So the middle and interior supports it will duplicate and so on until to the other end. For the last span, it will be the first interior support near middle end span and the outer support. You can imagine this bending moment and shear force diagram in symmetrical conditions. The main difference between the simply supported end span and a continuous end span is the moment here at the end span it should be equal to zero or there will be some negative moment. So if your continuous members or simply supported member, you will have to refer to the relevant factors to get the moment and also the relevant factors for you to get the share. Alternatively, you may refer to this table for you to determine the moment and share at the, on the slab. It is also meant for the one-way spanning slab. And this table is very similar to BS8110 for table 3.5. For your information, the table 3.5 is meant for beam, continuous beam. This table is simpler. Again, the F and L are similar to the one that we explained previously. 
this represents the end span and the end support is here and the end span is considered here and the pre-ultimate pen ultimate supports is here interior span and interior supports bear in mind that this table is applicable for a continuous slab where it is UDL substantially and the GKs are normally greater than QK and there will be at least 3 span or more with the difference between less than 15% of the longest span